I'm excited to be able to update my deck of panning project pan for you for the month of July. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to spend a little bit of it with me and to listen to all the things that I have to say about these six wonderful products that I would like to update you on today. If you are watching at this on a Sunday or any time throughout the next week, I would love for you to give me like some encouraging words. I'm really tired today and this next week my church has Vacation Bible School and it's going to be a fun, action-packed week and very tiring. So give me some energy, good energy through, um, through the video. This project pan was created by Emily over at Emily and Max and I really like doing her project pans. They are really creative and just a really fun way to gamify your makeup usage and your beauty usage. And project panning is something that really helps keep me focused on my no buy um, that I'm on right now for just a short period of time. It just really kind of helps you to stay mindful of the things that you um, have already purchased and encourages you to use those things up. So. We are going to be rolling in one new card today because I did have one rollout and something that's pretty close to getting rolled out. I was able to use from my Huda Rose Quartz palette the shade Quartz 10 times and this was in for a couple months. It took me a little while to get to that um, usage. I had already hit pan on this prior to hitting those 10 uses and I'm thankful to have that out a shade or the formula that I'm really crazy about so I'm thankful that I got the 10 uses in. Let's share the other products that are going to be staying in. And one thing I do want to say is this project usually only has five products but I have six because I had to draw an extra card last month. So even though I could leave it at five, drawing new cards is the fun part. So I am going to draw one new card today. We'll see what I get. Hopefully not the Joker again because I got that last month and the draw too. It was a hot, hot wild ride. <laughs> For the prompt pattern last month, I decided to roll in a blush from my Physician's Formula Butter Dream Team Face Palette. I have a goal to be able to wear away the pattern on this blush saucy mauve. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share with you what it looked like last month and comparative picture this month. I have been using it in conjunction with another blush that I'm about to share with you. Alternating, sometimes I'll use it on its own like I did today or sometimes I'll layer the two of them together uh, to create like a different kind of look but I knew that pattern was going to take a while and I really felt like just kind of focusing in on the middle of this would be easier especially with these physicians formula the waves or sand it kind of looks like sand almost sand waves it's deep so I'm hoping it will take me a couple more months but hopefully I'll get there soon and let's go talk about the other blush I um, drew in this rare beauty liquid blush in the shade peace and I have a goal to use this up and and so that I have something to kind of motivate me and help me to track the progress a little better since the packaging is so opaque and the product is like all around there I went ahead and weighed it today so I don't know how much it weighed last time I did use it very very often on my cheeks I did use it one time as a color corrector and then my daughter and I like to do like color makeup challenges where we draw like we randomize colors and that's what we have to put on our face and one time we were doing our silly makeup and <laughs> I did I drew orange foundation and so we swiped this all over my face <laughs> so I we used quite a bit of it so right now it weighs nine grams without the top with the top, it weighs 13 grams. And so the next time I update you, I will weigh it and hopefully it'll weigh less than nine grams. That's the goal. My Ulta Oh My Glow Cream Bronzer in the shade Tiramisu. <clears throat> I have a goal to use this 30 times and I've used it 10 times so far. I like to underpaint with this and this also. And then sometimes I will then also go back on top to kind of, you know, add a little extra. I like this a lot because it 
has a little bit of a red tint to it. So for me, especially when I put it right here, it kind of looks like it does when I do get a little bit of a sunburn, if I do get a sunburn. Um, right there, it's not looking like the redness, but it really does right there on my forehead. So I'm liking that a lot. And it has a lovely scent to it too. Now, the last two things I have to update you on are my two Joker products. I decided to roll in two Joker things, which um, the first one was this Juliet's Not a Gun. Juliet's Got a Gun, Not a Perfume. I rolled this in because I love this perfume so much. I don't want to pan it and I don't want it to go away. But over the past month, I did use quite a bit of it. So as you can see, there's just a little bit left and probably by the time I update you next, I will be finished with it and I'll be very sad because I love it so much. And one day I'll own like a travel size or something of it, but for now she stays in and I'm enjoying using that. And because that was so small, I went ahead and rolled in my other Joker idea, which was my ABH Rose Metals palette. I really love this palette a lot and it's a very fall themed palette in my mind but it's not fall right now and I do wish that it was so that's kind of why I rolled that in is are you joking me like I'm gonna use this palette that I love a whole lot during the fall season not during the fall season so are you joking me and my goal was to use this no pan left behind five times so I have to use every shade five times and I have not done that yet let's kind of quickly go through what I have and we'll see I have not used this one at all yet Nova I'm at three uses for uh, Sun Rose yep uh, two uses for Rose Fire Haze one Royal one Rose Quartz one Heavenly two and these I haven't used at all yet and Noble I've used twice uh, and I like to keep track of my uses on the back with some painters tape that's really really helpful for me so if you are someone that is kind of like me and really finds that it's um, irritating to have to like stop and write something down in a notebook or a lot of times I would try to do it on my phone but then I would forget to add it to my phone so, painter's tape is so much easier for me. Now comes the fun part. We have our deck of cards. I have a, I have two jokers in here, and of course I only want one joker, so I usually um, take it out, and it's right here, so it's in the box. And the other joker is somewhere in here. I'm going to shuffle the cards and pull one card today, and the one card will kind of take the place of the rose quartz eyeshadow. Um, in the shade quartz and then of course I'm gonna have my perfume sample used up by the next month so I feel pretty confident in going ahead and rolling in just one extra product today because the cards are the fun part all right let's do one more shuffle and then we'll pick our card together okay so here it is and a lot of people like to like split the deck even too and here's our card the four of clubs. I'm gonna take a look at the game board and pick my product and I'll come back and share with you what is gonna be added to this project. So that four of clubs was a very interesting prompt and I had to go look. What's really cool is Emily on the game board has like kind of a description of the prompts and I had to look this one up. The four of clubs correlated to out of your hands, which basically meant like phone a friend or let a friend pick. So it's a, it's a choice that's out of your hands. So what I'm going to do right now, as soon as I'm finished recording this, is add something to my Instagram and I am over on Instagram at Amy Pans. So if you would love to go and get some daily um, makeup inspiration and kind of keep track up with my low buy and uh, no buy uh, or whatever, I'd love for you to go and follow me over there. So I'm going to post a poll over there between these three products. I'm going to let them choose. And I'm interpreting this out of my hands also in the way of out of my hair. So I have three products 
itchy. I have three products that are pretty close to being finished. So I kind of going to also use this like a um, easy peasy lemon squeezy kind of a thing. I have two eyebrow pencils from LA Girl, which really might take longer than they look, but they look almost done. This one is the Shady Slim brow pencil. That is how much is left right there. I have the Brow Bestie and this is how much is left right here. And I'm going to go ahead and gently roll these down so that they don't break. I do really like these brow pencils. They are very good and extremely long lasting. I've had both of these for like a year. Long time. And then I also have this uh, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Natural Finish Setting Spray, which is really down to the bottom. So the choice is going to be out of my hands, and these products, or one of these products, is going to be out of my hair also. And I will go ahead and reveal to you right now on the screen what the Instagram poll showed and everyone voted for. So thank you if you are watching and you do follow me on Instagram. Thank you for helping me make the choice. And if you don't follow me over there, I would love for you to, like I said, look me up. All right, uh, that is it. That's my update. I don't know which one of those products it's going to be, but I'm excited to find out. And if you like project painting content and other things all about makeup and mindful consumerism and follow me on my no buy journey until November, click the subscribe button. I'll see you later. Bye.